and today's home media minefield I'm going to be looking at the Blu-ray release of Host coming up. Hello I'm Keith and welcome to Home Media Minefield, helping you with information to navigate the complexities of home cinema and home media entertainment. And for today's episode I am going to be looking at the Second Sight Films Blu-ray release of Host, the 2020 Zoom based horror film. Now starting off with some release information, this film was originally available on the streaming service Shudder. But as far as physical media goes, it appears that this has been released in the US on Blu-ray under RLJ Entertainment and here in the UK on Blu-ray by Second Sight Films. Now I haven't been able to find any other releases for any other regions and it also doesn't appear to be released on standard DVD. Now there are a few minor differences between the US edition and the UK edition which I will come on to but it's very important for me to point out that the US edition is region A locked and the UK edition is region B locked. So depending on your region that you live in and whether you have a multi-region player or not depends on which version you should buy. Now onto the video quality and this is obviously a slightly weird one because of course the film itself and the conceit of the film is that it all takes place over Zoom. It was shot during the pandemic last year so it was actually shot using high def webcams and using Zoom as the platform to film this. Now this was of course to make it look super realistic and for you to believe that essentially this is found footage from somebody's computer and it does of course help with that ultra realistic ultra eerie atmosphere. So really HD Blu-ray is the ideal medium for this. It kind of wouldn't make sense for it to be on a 4K UHD crystal sharp and also standard def like DVD might not really do this justice. So I think between the streaming and the physical media being on 4K suits the picture quality and the style that this is going for. And regardless of any subtle tweaks or visual effects that are put into the film you really wouldn't notice. It is as if you are watching a Zoom call which is the point. So I can't really criticise the picture quality for not being razor sharp on every single frame because of the overall concept going here. I hope that makes sense. You've got to really see it to know what I mean. Okay on to the audio and this is kind of a similar thing with the picture really. This is just available in DTS 2.0 stereo and again this is supposed to be a zoom core conducted over webcams. There is no musical score and often dialogue overlaps etc but again the style of audio here completely feeds into the film so again to have a 5.1 surround soundtrack wouldn't actually work for the type of story that's being told here. The important thing is the sound is clear and objective. Now onto the special features and this is where you really get the value out of this film. The actual film itself is quite short, it's less than an hour long but they more than make up for that in a wealth of special features included on this Blu-ray. Now just to go over some of the differences with the RLJ Entertainment release in the US it does state that it is a director's cut extended edition and the running time is about 10 minutes longer. Now the only reason this is the case is because they have actually added the real life online seance that the cast and crew did prior to making the film they've tacked it onto the end of this film potentially to give it 
enough length to be able to call it a feature film, bringing it up to about 65 to 70 minutes. Other than that, the special features on that version aren't as plentiful as the UK one, which I'll drill into. It includes one of the same documentaries that you get on this. The only thing that you don't get is a bonus podcast from the bloody disgusting Boo Crew. Now that feature apparently runs about 25 minutes, but it is exclusive to that Region A version and does not appear on the UK version. So getting on to the bonus content that is on the UK version, you get two audio commentary tracks. The first one by director Rob Savage and producer Douglas Cox. Now this is a fun commentary that does go into a lot of detail and it was the first special feature that I watched on this disc. However, my advice would be to watch the 30 minute behind the scenes featurette first, which I'll come on to, before listening to this audio commentary track because it's almost as if they expect you to know some of that information going into it, or at least that's how I felt watching this cold. They talk very much about what is actually going on on the screen and how they achieved it, but don't dive too much into the genesis of the project. The second audio commentary is also a lot of fun. That's a cast audio commentary which features the six main cast members of this film, and they tell you lots of behind the scenes stories and anecdotes whilst the film is playing. Next up you get 30 minutes of cast interviews. Now there's a lot of repetition here from the cast commentary but it's good to see them speaking to camera and telling their story and filling in even more details on this film. Next up is the aforementioned 35 minute behind the scenes featurette and this goes into a lot more detail about the genesis of the project how it came about, how the various cast and crew members got involved, and looks behind the scenes at things such as the digital visual effects, the special makeup effects, and some of the stunt work that was done in this. It's actually very impressive to see what they pull off, because everything is very low tech here. And it's very fascinating to see how the cast members had to do their own continuity makeup, some of the practical effects, etc whilst filming this and we get to see the painstaking process that actually went into making this film work. As I said my advice would be watch this special feature before digging into the others simply because it gives you a good background on everything. Next up you get a short film called Is There Goblins Now and this is actually the prank video that the director made to basically sell the idea to the cast. It's quite fun. And you also see a test run for that prank video as well, which is included as an extra here. Next, you get a BFI cast and crew interview, which is actually conducted over Zoom, which lasts for over an hour. This is hosted by Anna Bogusea of the BFI and features director Rob Savage, co-writers Jed Shepard and Gemma Hurley, producer Douglas Cox, editor Brenna Rangot, and actors Hayley Bishop and Caroline Ward. Now even though not all of the cast are included in this one, they do go into a lot of detail about the production and delve into it in some depth. Well worth a watch. Next up, Rob Savage, Gemma Hurley and Jed Shepard are interviewed by Mike Munzer of The Evolution of Horror. This runs for about 35 minutes and again delves into a lot of detail about the genesis of the project, the logistics of the filming and the reaction and response that this has had with the public. You then get the host team seance which lasts about 10 minutes. As I said this is what they tacked on to the end of the feature on the Region A version but here we get it as a separate featurette. What's quite interesting about this is you can see how some of the ideas from this seance was then included in the actual script that they filmed. And then you get a couple of Rob Savage's previous short films included on this as well. So that about rounds it out. As I said, there is a unique special feature on the RLJ Entertainment Region A version, but I do think that the Second Sight Films version probably wins here for bonus features. Now Second Sight Films 
have released this as a limited edition which I've previously done an unboxing on and that limited edition includes a rather nice 60 page booklet with some essays and interviews as well as six art cards presented in a nice box packaging which I would say is well worth getting hold of if you're a collector and if you like this film. So that uh, brings me to the scoring section. Uh, what I'm going to get do here is for the video I'm going to give this a four out of five. Obviously if you're expecting some crystal clear 4k type image then you're going to be disappointed. It's not supposed to be that. The image on the Blu-ray HD is more than adequate for this film and works really well. I'm also going to give the audio a 4 out of 5. Again if you want some dynamic 5.1 enveloping soundtrack that's not what this film is but the DTS 2.0 stereo works fine and for the special features I'm going to give this a 4.75 out of 5. Really everything that you want to know about this film is included in one shape or form between the interviews, the behind the scenes featurette and the two commentaries. The only reason I've taken 0.25 off the score from giving it a full 5 out of 5 is because you don't get the 25 minute podcast that's included on the US Region A edition. Maybe I'm being a little harsh but I'm a completist. So that leaves it with a respectable 12.75 out of a possible 15. As I said this kind of horror film is not to everyone's taste but I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was very clever, very experimental and very imaginatively put together with some real creativity taken to the limitations that they, in fact all of us, were in during that time. And as far as a collector's edition goes, Second Sight have done a great job with the packaging, presentation and bonus included on this. So that brings me to the end of another Home Media Minefield. If you enjoyed this or found the information interesting, then please give this a like with the thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And also remember to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything moving forward. I post videos weekly, unboxings, Blu-ray 4K DVD reviews, as well as other content that can be found down below, such as live streams, short films, podcasts, etc. So if film and television entertainment is your sort of thing, please check out some of the other videos and please do spread the word on social media. It all helps. If there's anything in particular that you'd like me to look into, then again, please put that down in the comments and I'll see if I can help. But in the meantime, I thank you for your time today and I will speak to you at the next Home Media Minefield. Bye for now.